Kyrie Irving praises Allah, then immediately Nike drops him. Then immediately Foot Locker dropped him. And then immediately right after that, within 24 hours of this tweet, Pepsi dropped him from an endorsement as well. Yet you and I are afraid to ask our boss for five minutes to go pray. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to the YouTube channel. And um, it's true. Kyrie Irving publicly praises Allah in a tweet. Now, for some of you, this might be brand new news. Or for some of you, this might be like, I've seen this already. Uh, and for some of you, you're like, who the heck is Kyrie Irving? Well, if you don't know who Kyrie Irving is, he is a NBA superstar. Like, he is the elite of players, right? Like, I guess in football, they have like the Messi and Ronaldos, and then they got like a bunch of other people. He is like that level. He's up there. And for him to publicly come out and just praise Allah... And uh, he, he like, just for like, because he understood how ignorant people could be. He's putting God there, you know, just so, so you know that it's, it's God. It's still God, okay, all ignorant people out there. Um, this guy, Kyrie Irving, is a six-time uh, all-star, uh, you know, uh, you know, all NBA player, rookie of the year, ch NBA champion. Like this, 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 his resume goes on and on. And for him to come out and just publicly, you know, praise Allah in a tweet is a pretty big deal, because we have Muslim athletes and celebrities who don't do such things as well too. Okay, so to see this is actually uh, pretty cool. What are some lessons that we can learn from this? Ask you, what's the point? You're just going to talk about this? No, there's lessons for us to learn about this. You see, Kyrie Irving is someone who has a lot to lose. I hope you know you understand what I mean by that. This man is a public figure. This man has millions of followers, millions of fans. People are trying to emulate his basketball game, wearing his own signature Nike sneaker. Like, this dude is the real deal. He is not afraid of losing brand endorsements. He is not afraid of, uh, you know, everyone dropping him. Just like this, you know, because he used Allah's name. No. Yet you and I are afraid to ask our boss for five minutes to go pray. Yet you and I are afraid to ask our, our, our bosses for that lunch break that we are entitled to anyways. For Jumu'ah, can you just make it between this hour and this hour instead of these hours over here? Just because I got to go pray my salah. You know? You know that thing that we're supposed to do, that we're commanded as Muslims to do? Pray five times a day on Jumu'ah to actually go in a congregational prayer. You know that? We could be asking for that. This tweet shows us that a person who has more to lose than us is willing to just publicly display his, his faith. You know, yeah, he might not be a Muslim yet. You know, we have uh, a former NBA superstar, uh, Steven Jackson, who just accepted Islam. Who knows if they're talking? Maybe they can have a conversation, right? Maybe Shaquille O'Neal, who is a Muslim, can talk to Kyrie Irving as well too. Someone within the NBA sphere could give him more da'wah. We should be uh, uh, giving out Qur'ans to Kyrie Irving. Why not? Why aren't we inviting uh, Kyrie Irving to learn more by Islam? Why aren't we like trying to say, hey, let's send uh, Kyrie Irving a Qur'an. I'm willing to do that. We can do that together. But it's up to you guys. It's up to us to share videos like this and get these videos across to him and this message across to him. But someone has. Someone has. Because he's using the word Allah. Right? He has real things to lose. What would have happened if this would have happened, went down and said, huh? Kyrie Irving praises Allah. Then immediately Nike drops him. Then immediately Foot Locker dropped him. And then immediately right after that, within 24 hours of this tweet, Pepsi dropped him from an endorsement as well. Right? That would have gotten people like upset. I hope so. Muslims would have been like, yo, how is it that he just mentioned something about Islam and he immediately got dropped? But what about us? How about on our social media pages, right? Are we afraid to even use the word Allah? Are we afraid that if we put the, uh, the name or the word Allah inside of our title or on our Facebook status or on some type of Instagram post or in a tweet that all of our non-Muslim friends are going to judge us? They're going to know that we're Muslims? Is that what we're afraid of? Because if that's the case, Kyrie has more of a reason to be afraid of that. And he's not even a Muslim. What are we afraid of? That if we publicly you know, display our faith that we're going to be judged? That if we are wearing the hijab, that they might say something. If we're growing out the beards, that they might say something. It might reduce our, you know, employment opportunities. How many people have come up to me? And you probably know this as well. Maybe you've been one of them. SQ, should I shave my beard for this interview? The fact that we even feel 
that we cannot get a job because of how we look is sad. And that shows there's a problematic, there's, there's a problem in the system. And when celebrities and higher influential people such as Kyrie Irving comes out and, you know, mainstreams the name Allah, mainstreams it, it gives the Muslim brand, it gives the Muslim people more power because even Kyrie is talking about it. When we, when we have celebrities uh, who, uh, who are Muslims as well too, you know, making a sujood like Mo Salah, it, it makes Islam just like, whoa. When Habib is saying something and saying Alhamdulillah and the non-Muslim fam hears that and he's a fan of Habib, he learns. Whether they accept Islam or not or are educated about it or not, it doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is that these celebrities, these highly influential people are talking talking about it that's a big deal okay so my 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 advice to him is to keep going on you're on the spiritual journey keep going on this journey and my advice to the average muslim out there is that if Kyrie isn't afraid of talking about Allah about publicly speaking about you know whatever he thinks or faith and by the way the reason he made that tweet is because he's coming off the all-star game and in the all-star game he's thanking Allah for not getting an injury that's all he was doing Thanking Allah for not getting an injury. And within that tweet, as you could tell if you read the thread, it just got really ugly. It got messy. It got nasty, you know, because a lot of people's ignorance came out. But the saddest part of the ignorance was the Muslim ignorant who was saying that, don't use my, my, my faith's name. Don't use the Muslim name. Don't use this. Bro, you do not have a monopoly over Islam. You and I do not have a monopoly over Islam. Islam is free for everyone to use. But inshallah, they're using it in a positive way. Inshallah, we're using it in a positive way so we could teach people how this faith needs to be used, how it should actually be promoted. But if you're someone out there who's afraid to, you know, pray in public, I mean, what do you have to lose? You think it's going to be like the back in the olden day where they try to kill you and all that? No. Pray in public. Do what you have to do. Practice your faith. Can it become more safe? Sure. But the more people learn about our faith, the more safe it can become because the ignorance is getting removed. And by Kyrie tweeting for millions of people to see about and his reach using the name Allah, that's a big deal because it removes ignorance slowly but surely uh, from people's minds and hearts and their lives and it becomes a conversation at the table that wouldn't normally be there. Uh, I hope you guys understand and, and, and thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you so much. And um, until next time, I'm out.